Hi everyone, this is the Gas Walkthrough for June 25th. I'm Philip Newman. Today I'm solving X Valent Italian Greyhound. This is by Bill Murphy and it is an XV Paris Sudoku. So we have one to nine in each row, column, and three by three box for normal, normal Sudoku rules. And then XV pairs, we have some letters in the grid, which are actually Roman numerals. V means that the sum of the digits next to the V is five. And X means the sum is 10. Since this is XV pairs, we don't know anything about other pairs of digits. So these could sum to 10 or to five. We just don't know. And those are the rules. And Bill's given us a couple freebies. This is a seven and this is a six to make 10 with the given three and four. And now we're gonna look at the Vs. The Vs are more restricted in XV pairs because there are only two possibilities to make five. There are four possibilities to make 10. So the two ways to make five in two cells are one, four, and two, three. In this case, we can't have a three. So this must be one, four. And we have a four here. So this is one, four. And because we need to sum to 10, that gives us these two digits up here. This can't have a two, so it also can't be two, three. And we have a one here. So this is four, one, this is six and nine. This can't be one, four, so it is two, three. We have a three here, so this is two, three, and then eight, seven. And this can't be one, four because of the one. We have a two here, so three, two in that order, eight and seven. In the central box, we have four pairs that sum to 10. The only digit that can't go on any of those is five because we would need five plus five. So we can fill that in, and now, Let's look at this column. We already have two, three, and seven, and eight. So we can't have two, eight, we can't have three, seven on this X, but also on this X, because what would this be? It can only be from one, four, six, and nine. This is also from one, four, six, and nine, but notice we have one, four, and six in the row. So this has to be nine, this is one. And you can see this as just a naked single, uh, this cell sees one, two, three, four, five in the box, six, seven, eight. So it is nine. It goes with one. And now this can only be four or six, and let's go with the other of four and six. This cell sees one, four, six, and nine in the column, two, three, and seven in the row, five in the box. So this is an eight. It goes with two, and then this is a three, seven pair. Now, if we look down the column, we have three and seven in this box already. So the only thing this can be is five. This is three or seven, but we have a seven in the row. So we can resolve that. And then this column is similar. We have four, five, and six that we need in the column. Four and six are in the box. And the six up here makes this a four. Okay, we're left with two, six, and eight here. We have six and eight in the row. And then we have eight here in the row. Um, and this is where the symmetry breaks down a little bit. Um, it looks roughly symmetrical. We have one, two, three, four in this pattern. We have six, seven, eight, nine in this pattern. Um, but it's not quite symmetrical. So in this case, we have the one nine here to place seven, but we can't disambiguate the one and the nine here. All right, what next? This row needs two, three, four, and eight. None of these can be three in the box, so that's our three. And these are two, four, and eight. We can limit them like that. These are one, five, and nine, and we have a nine up here. So nine can only go there, and that is gonna resolve our one and nine, and that resolves five and one here. These are six and eight. We know the order from the top of the grid. These are two, four, and five. We have a couple of fours looking down. We have a two looking down. That resolves those. All right, this row still needs a four, and there's a four in the box, so this is our four. These are one, three, and nine, and we cannot resolve those yet. Uh, this is four. Minus. Well, I just filled that in. Um, yeah, so we have our chocolate teapot triples here. This is two, five, seven. We have a seven here. So this is the only place for seven. The two here places five and two. These are five and six. We know the order from the six. 
These are 1, 3, and 7. We have a 1 and 3 here. We have a 1 here. Okay, now this is 4 or 8. This is 3 or 9. Can't resolve those yet. These are 1, 3, and 8, though. And we have 3 and 8 there, so that's 1, 3, 9, 1. That resolves our 3 there, and this is an 8. And 8 looks over for 4, 8, 2, 4. These are 2 and 7. Oh, not 2 and 7. These are 2 and 6. Uh, 5, 8, and 9 here. The 5 and the 8 in the row give us 9. And then the 8 here gives us 5 and 8. And to finish off, we have 9, we have 7, and we have 5. And that is the solution. So, hope you enjoyed that. I'm a little late posting today, so I'm just going to sign off and say see you next time.